Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and you know what time it is. It is time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we got a real treat from another exclusive line, and this is the Transformers Authentics Bravo. RC. But before we look at RC herself, we'll look at her packaging. I may have done a little number to the box by accident. So it tends to happen quite a bit when you open up a new box figure excitedly like I do. But the artwork is still intact, which is nice. Not bad. Transformers, Authentics, RC, that's what it says right there by the Autobot symbol. It's RC in her robot mode. RC's car mode, which is totally Generation 2 inspired. Generation 1 expired. We got a picture of RC in her robot mode and her vehicle mode. But before we transform this girl, bot, we're going to get down to some comparisons. Why not? Dare I say, why not? First up for comparison next to the RC we got here is none other than Kingdom's Core Class Hot Rod. And they are exactly the same size. Why not? And they are not as big as Transformers Siege Ultra Magnus. Probably wondering, can they both fit on Ultra Magnus? Yes, they can. And Ultra Magnus can carry RC and Hot Rod into battle. Come on, Autobots, get on my carrier. We're rolling into battle. Couldn't help that. I have a lot of fun here on the channel. And as you know, this channel is all about having fun and enjoying what you do. But now we're going to transform... RC into a robot mode. Disconnect your pistol. Fold her legs out like so. Straighten them out so they're nice and even, which is kind of the tricky part, is getting them where they're gonna properly connect with one another. There's one leg all done. This transformation can be a little bit fussy, but it is what it is for an Authentics Bravo. And there we got RC's legs all done. Rotate her body around. Flip out her hands. Revealing her feminine robot hands. Why not? Second verse. Just like the first. Fold this back to form a backpack. Fold these sections up. Fold out her hand like so. And then rotate it to reveal her Robot mode. And I popped her arm off. Ooh, my bad. <laughs> I will say about these figures, if you're not careful, you'll pop an arm loose. Lucky for me, these ball joints are easy to reattach with these authentics. So here we got RC in her robot mode. And this is not a bad looking RC. I got this for 10, I think for like six bucks. And she is worth the money, especially if you don't have an RC in your collection, like everybody else does. She is worth six bucks. And a really stunning paint job in a really good robot mode. I'll give this thing a really 10 plus for how good this figure looks. And the head is on a ball joint. So you get some movement out of the head. Arms are on ball joints. Legs are on ball joints. Get her in some dynamic poses. But now we're going to transform our other two bots and get down to comparisons with good old RC. Why not? We'll start with Hot Rod because he's the more easier one than Magnus. Why not? Because I've memorized his transformation by heart. And I've got that when I have a Transformers figure for a long time. I've got a photographic memory. So 
sort of deal with me because when I get a Transformer and I mess with it around so many times before I review it, I become a pro at transforming it. I'm just that good at what I do. I'm probably a very good Transformers Transformer by all standards. But here we got a RC next to Hot Rod. Just like in the movie. But we got one more comparison to compare next to RC and then we're going to call this video done. We're going to do Ultra Magnus, which I've memorized his transformation. So, yep. It's easy to memorize transformations when you've had figures for so long. Disconnect. Fold them out. And now we're going to... to connect these into his chest like so and the ultra magnet is transforming nicely so far off camera And I've just that, got that good of a memory when it comes to my Transformers in general. But it is, it is signed to fight me, huh? Sorry, I'm a little bit more fussy with Magnus than I thought I would. Okay, now I got it. My bad. <laughs> Starting to fight me today. <laughs> kind of a thing with Magnus some days. Wants to fight you. Got one leg, both legs all done. And ready for putting his arms together. And I love Siege Ultra Magnus. He is close enough to the animated Ultra Magnus and the animated movie Magnus that I got him right away when I first got him I was so happy about it and I must have forgotten to hit mute on the TV give me a second to mute that and then I'll continue sorry about that Sometimes if I leave the TV on for a certain point on a show on demand, it cuts off the show and then goes right into the uh, back to the regular TV. I'm almost done transforming Magnus, so we can do the final comparison. Sorry this transformation takes a while, but it's a literal six or ten step figure. But here we got Ultra Magnus next to Autobot RC, and they look good together. Why not? Dare I say why not? And if you like this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And I was so glad to finally find Authentics Bravo RC. 
And I will say this video was finally worth doing. Now this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. And don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.